I've been a Mason for nearly uh, 10 years. I became a Mason because um, several of my friends at the time were talking about it, and uh, not necessarily in a great light. They uh, they believed uh, some of the things they had read on, you know, in books or on the internet or had heard through hearsay and that sort of thing. So I started to research it, and when I researched it, I found um, a lot of good things about Masonry, a lot of charitable work, and a lot of things that they were actually doing um, in my community, which was uh, up in North Dakota at the time, and. Uh, that intrigued me. I, I wasn't interested in uh, many of the other things they were talking about. Instead, I was interested in just doing some good for the community. And the, the group of guys I found at the lodge um, were doing good. And uh, I asked them how I could become part of it. And I filled out a petition and they, they invited me in. Um, again, I, I actually visited a lodge, so I, I drove to the lodge and, and walked in and uh, kind of knocked on the door. And they were actually in lodge at the time, so I waited outside, and when they were done, uh, they walked out and were surprised to see me sitting there. And I said, hey, you know, I'd like to become a, a Mason. How do I start? And they said, well, fill out a petition. You have to, you know, know a Mason um, to join or become acquainted with one if you don't currently. And it turned out I did know some Masons, so I, I filled out the petition, handed it in, and then went through the, uh, um, the proper procedure to become a Master Mason. Masonry means to me um, a lot in, uh, in our current society. It means a, a higher standard um, of morals and ethics and uh, a way to kind of guide yourself into being a better person or a better man or a better citizen. Um, it, uh, it means doing some charitable work, helping you, your community whenever possible, um, doing uh, anything possible to do some good. Charity, uh, masonry means charity in the way of um, anything you can imagine that is of benefit to society um, with or without the Lodge with her uh, inside or outside the lodge of course um, public schools um, elderly you know uh, military etc it's, it's about charity and doing good for for others Mason fits in my personal life my father-in-law is a mason um, and becoming a mason and uh, I'm active personally in the lodge on, a, on about a weekly basis or daily basis if you count online. And personally, my uh, my wife is involved um, uh, with talking about masonry, seeing the benefits that I receive and that my family receives from me being a mason, just from my attitude, um, my enjoyment of life, um, you know, doing some good things. I come home and just in a great mood, um, you know. So my personal life is greatly affected in a positive manner. Uh, my daughter, who is currently six, plans on becoming a Job's daughter, and uh, so she's very excited any time she's able to come and uh, watch the Job's daughters do their um, do their practice or do their singing and that sort of thing. And uh, she just loves to do it. Can't wait till she's ten. So my personal life is greatly affected. My six-year-old asks, "Are you going to lodge?" And she's upset that she can't come with sometimes. So it's very positive. A man could become a Mason uh, today by either knowing a Mason and asking him. Uh, a lot of people believe, uh, I've heard, that they think that you need to be asked to be a Mason. Like I would ask um, a stranger or a friend even that is not a Mason, hey, would you like to join me in Masonry? And that's not the case. I can't do that. It's not generally accepted. And uh, the uh, opposite is true, where a Mason or a non-Mason must ask me to become a Mason. A friend must come to me and say, hey, I heard you're a Mason, I'd like to become one. Um, some Masons believe that you must ask three times, so if a friend were to ask me once, I would um, uh, consider whether that person would be fit for Masonry and whether Masonry would be fit for them and uh, suggest them to be a Mason. Some people believe you need to ask three times, so sometimes you need to ask three times to become a Mason. Or, if you don't know a Mason, contact your local Grand Lodge, either on the internet using Google or uh, the Yellow Pages, and they'll tell you to contact the secretary of your local lodge. 